people of the outside world and the shitty Austrian oppressors, especially you, Kogler. My name is Commissioner Nikita Perestek Kruzov, and I'm the ambassador of the People's Confederation of Soviet Unterzegersdorf. I am talking to you in English, the language of late capitalism, not in German, the language of guilt. Let me greet you with a little song that I have found in our archives of international understanding. As I walked out in the streets of Laredo, as I walked out in Laredo one day, I saw a young cowboy all wrapped in white linen, all wrapped in white linen, as cold as the clay. Beautiful. I am speaking to you at the end of a long and dire time of containment. I'm a bit late, I know, but it took some time to set up the Zoom connection. We had to reverse engineer MS-DOS from a floppy disk that one of our spies had extracted out of a Herlango shop in Stockerau back in 89. And then we had to loop it through our Betamax recorder. And yeah, that progress, progress. The Communist Party of Soviet Unterzegersdorf told me to introduce you to our cause. It is a proud but sad story. But don't cry for me, cry for Argentina. The Confederation of Soviet Unterzegersdorf lies southwest of Highway Junction Stockerau Mitte, uh, right between Oberzegersdorf, China and Oberolbendorf. All land of our mothers, fathers and all intersexes. Here, you can have a look at it. It's not far, but we won't let you in. Soviet Unterzegersdorf is the last existing satellite state of the USSR. The good old days of the Cold War. Nobody touched us. Actually, nobody really knew about us. Kreisky only learned about us through Israeli intelligence. But after the Soviet Union turned into many, many little non-Soviet countries, it was crazy. It was like a lot of pop-ups on Firefox, and you try to click them away, but it doesn't work. Tragic. And the neighboring village of Oberzegersdorf grew aggressive. With tractors! They even tempted us with decorated oxen and cornflakes. Do not laugh. In fact, a couple of trash metal kids entered our country and killed the last of our chicken to make a graffiti. We have no allies. Cuba is weak shit. North Korea is for girls uh, in a gender neutral way. China is a dog with the wrong puppies. And Venezuela is fake. It doesn't even exist. We can prove it. We are defined by lack. Lack of resources. Lack of inhabitants, lack of space, and lack of disk space. We have a lot of gravel, uh, though, and uh, fine sand for concrete. But we also have a lot of perspectives. We are like Liechtenstein, but we don't have money. We export a moral agenda. <coughs> I want to address a smear campaign on Snapchat first. No! It is not true that we created Corona and infected Ishko. We did not in fuck infect Ishko. They in fuck infected themselves. First and foremost, we structural incompetence. Second, we don't have a single case of Corona in our country. In fact, we tried hard to obtain an infected victim from Hola Brun, so we could weaponize uh, treatment. Uh, but we epic failed that, so we accidentally kidnapped a healthy bus driver from Korneuburg. He actually likes it in our country and doesn't want to leave. Now we have one more hungry mouth to feed. Three, we are safe. 
You can't say that about yourself. Keep your sphincters tight and listen to this amusing joke to explain your situation to you. Two widows meet at the supermarket. Widow A. What did your husband die of? Widow B. Corona. Widow A. Ah, at least nothing serious. Hmm? Four. Is Corona laboratory made? Nah. I think uh, it's way more reasonable to assume that the bat fucked the pangolin and some guy then fucked that pangolin. Uh, mystery solved, Occam's razor. Five. Tell all those conspiracy theorists to go wrap themselves in the chest with Vic Vaporup. Conspiracy theories? Bah. It should be called conspiracy hypothesis. It doesn't even deserve to be called a theory. They assume that someone runs the world. That someone is in control. The sad truth is that nobody is in control. That's way more terrifying. Six. There is this film, Contagion, by Steve Zoderberg. We pirated the film. It took eight years to download. A bit faster than the movie about Kevin alone at home, what a waste. And don't get me started about this uh, Lord of the Rings diarrhea. I like factories, Saruman is the industrial revolution. He should be the true hero of the film. Fuck ancient trees. But I digress. The Vatican is shit. And New Zealand is shit too, although the liberals like it so much. But the Americans are extreme shit. We even built an embassy for them in our country. But they never wanted to move in. But I love last. Ha! The coronavirus shows the benefits of our system. The homeless population in the US. The refugee situation in Greece. The cheap laborers in China and uh, in Italy. Do not laugh. Their living conditions are bad, they are under constant stress, they do not have access to proper food and water, it is impossible for most of them to get treatment for any kind of disease. Even the ability to isolate yourself socially during a pandemic is a privilege. Epidemics have always been and still are manifestations of class. Think about the bubonic plague. How we treat the weakest in society is coming back to haunt society as a whole. You feared that your freedom was uh, taken away by Corona? Number one. Oh, hell has no fury like a middle class person mildly inconvenienced. Number two. A human centipede is not social distancing. Uh, Number three. Your freedom is not being taken away. You had no freedom in the first place. What you call freedom uh, is uh, something that your state grants you. It's a, it's a little gift by the authorities, uh, nothing more. And more important, freedom of expression includes freedom of exploitation, period. Number four, you should uh, change your passwords. The magic thinking that Corona will transform the way humanity thinks about the world is, well, magic thinking. Let me remind you that there is one thing that capitalism really likes, a crisis. <laughs> crisis, crisis. <laughs> Crisis is the concentrated explosion of all the contradictions of capitalistic production. And we're having a first row seat now. When we go over to the fields and stand at the border and look into the west. Mm. A crisis is a big purge 
the forces of the market prey on the weak and the powerless, uh, be they companies or people or ecosystems, they suck them dry, eat them up, uh, like Thulu, leave them to rot like empty carcasses, and it's already happening by the end of the year, you will see corporate mergers that you can wipe your ass, Disney might actually buy Netflix, or Boeing. Don't interrupt, stop the coy, I'm recording. I appreciate the gesture when the Western people say we will all buy local products, we will recycle, we will not fly to Mallorca. People long for a wonderful spark that ignites transformation, but I don't see it. I see a lot of terrified people distrustful of each other clinging to toilet paper. I'm not even speaking about the 663 million people who live without easy access to clean water and the 2.4 billion people who lack access to improved sanitation facilities. As a species, we will survive. Some people will really change their behavior, but it will be out of a position of privilege and of liberal lifestyle. And there won't be enough of them, uh, globally speaking. The inequality gap will widen. And, uh, like like Godzi, just remind yourself that you're heading into the gloomy darkness of a giant recession. Most people will be buying the cheapest products, Amazon, just because they won't be able to afford local eco-friendly ones. Uh, many people lack financial cushions. Many will be struggling. I agree that there will be stronger domestic supply chains, but that is part of the classic pattern of national competition. National competition will not decline into hippiedom, on the contrary, it will intensify. In some cases it will escalate, and the extreme form of national competition is called war. And we, and we are red, and we. And, and we, and we are ready. Do not laugh. Trump canceled the INF Treaty. So we will get our ICBM ready by the end of the week. Plus minus a month. I have to leave you and the information superhighway behind. I have to tend the people's little garden. We have a red problem.